Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I came up with this um, brown smoky eyes, matte monochromatic look. Um, matte brown eyes, matte brown lips. If you would like to know how to get this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so first I just pull my hair back. I have already moisturized my face, put on lip balm to correct the dark circles under my eyes and some old acne spots. I'm going to use this Ben Nye corrector in the number three. So I'm just going to use my fingers. Make sure you use the product to correct the inner corners of the eyes also because there also you get a lot of darkness and then i'm going to use it on my lid and near the nose because that's where you get a lot of redness i'm just going to use my finger over the acne spots and just dab and blend it then i'm going to use wet n wild photo focus foundation and i'm in the shade toffee and use real techniques expert face brush to blend it all out so what i do is just pounce it all over the face first and then blend it out Make sure you use the foundation near your hairline also. What I do is to get good coverage is push the product inside instead of sweeping it around. Then for concealer, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm in the shade 30 Honey. So I'm going to use this under the eye on the lid. At the highest points of my face, there's the center of the forehead, the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the chin, maybe a little bit more on the lid. And then I'm going to use the same expert face brush and blend this out. Even for concealer, I push the product in instead of sweeping it around. Set the under eyes, the lids, the center of the forehead, the bridge and the chin. I'm going to use uh, Ben Nye Banana Powder and Real Technique Setting Brush. Take some on the cap. Make sure there are no creases before I set it. And just gently place the powder. And for the rest of the face, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 310 with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. I like to press the powder also into the skin instead of just loosely dusting it all over because I have oily skin. Now for the exciting part, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Naked Chocolate Palette. This is how it looks and I'm going to use these two shades, uh, Sweet Shop and Sugar. Then I'm going to use this uh, fluffy Vega eyeshadow brush and dip it both into these brown shadows. To blend out the lower lash line, I'm going to use Real Techniques shading brush. Can you tell I love the Real Techniques brushes and I'm going to take the same two brown shadows what I do is I smoke out the lower lash line but I don't drag it up until the inner corner I think it makes my eye look very small to highlight the brow bone I'm gonna keep it matte and use the same brush just wipe it on a cloth and you use this um, creamy color for the brow bone highlight
then I'm going to use the same Vega brush hold it at the very end so that the control is very loose and just blend the eyeshadow a bit more so that it looks quite seamless and there are no harsh lines after the eyeshadow for the tight line and what line I'm going to use this Miss Claire eye pencil in the shade brown suede you can use black if you like I just want to keep it monochromatic and use a brown for the brows I'm gonna use a beardo hair wax and a small spoolie what I do is on the spoolie I put some wax on it and use this to brush my brows since the wax has made a good base for the eyebrows I'll use the same palette and use this dark brown shade called Chalk Fest and use this to fill my brows with this small angular brush. Guys, you all should never use a black eyeshadow or a black pencil to fill your brows. It'll make your lashes look very artificial very bold and for sure you won't like that look and take the spoolie again and brush the product through okay brows are done so i'll go ahead curl my lashes put on some mascara now before mascara if you like to add a liquid liner you can go ahead you can use black you can use brown i prefer not to add any liner because I just like the lashes and eyeshadow look. Uh, then I'm gonna use um, Palladio Lash Obsessed Mascara. This mascara is really bomb. I don't know why nobody talks about it. If you have tiny lashes, long lashes like mine, anybody can use this. <laughs> To bronze and contour, I'm going to use this Savannah Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going to use this uh, cool tone brown shade and use this as my contour powder. I'm not going to add too much, just a little bit. Oh, and I'm using the ProArt PF12 brush for my contour and bronzer. For bronzer, I'm going to use this shade right at the corner. On the same brush just add a little bit tap off the excess as the look is quite brown and matte I'm not going to use any blush rather bring the bronzer a little bit on the apples of the cheeks Add some more on the same brush just pinch it a bit and use this to contour the nose don't forget your jawline for highlight, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution palette in the shade Golden Sugar 2 and use this gold shade uh, with Wet n Wild PF75 highlighting brush. Take a bit, tap off the excess and highlight the highest point of the cheekbones. I like to bring it a bit on the front. I always use circular motions to blend the highlights so that it doesn't look streaky or patchy. To highlight the nose, I take the same brush, pinch it, uh, pinch the brush bristles a bit, and highlight the bridge, the chin a bit. And with the finger, I just dab a bit on the center of the nose. 
Okay, even after I've applied my mascara, my lashes are so long and straight, it doesn't want to stay curled. So after the mascara has dried, I use the curler again and curl it once again. And just push the lashes back. So for the matte brown lip, I'm gonna use Pack Retro Matte Lip Gloss in the shade 43 Chocolate Martini. So when you are working with a liquid lipstick, make sure you work with very thin layers. And the look is done. So this is a completed look, matte lips, matte eyes only monochromatic brown let me know guys how did you like this look do you often do monochromatic looks let me know in the comments below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you for watching i'll see you again in the next video bye